We're here in downtown Elgin today, and I want to talk to you a little bit about how to have a successful beard care product company. And but first, let's go get some coffee. Talk about plans not going right. So I uh, wanted to go to my local coffee shop here and went in see if I could uh, film uh, making some coffee, but they don't allow filming inside. So ordered a coffee anyway, brought and got it out. Gonna have this nice cup of coffee. Turns out to be the Go Cup. So I wanna have this really cool B-roll segment of, of drinking coffee. I got this, but make the best of it. Gross. Chris here with Beards in Review. This week we're going to talk about how to have a successful beard product company. There are a bazillion different types of beard care products with beard oils and waxes and mustache wax and conditioners and things like that. Uh, it seems like everybody and their grandma has a beard oil company now. We wanted to take a look at some of the successful companies out there and what they're doing to stand out above everybody else. Step one, you gotta have a great product. Listen to your fans, you know, look at, look at the comments on, on the website and social media. Uh, read what they're saying. If, it's a, if, if there's bad reviews, then, you know, there might be something wrong with your product. You wanna use quality ingredients. You know, er, every beard oil out there says, oh, it's all natural ingredients and you know organic ingredients all natural uh you know that's that's what everybody's doing if you're making your product in your kitchen going all breaking bad and stuff cooking cooking it up in your kitchen don't don't let us know about it nobody wants to know that something was made in your kitchen number two you got to have great customer service excellent customer service when you get an email uh, you got to have a quick response any type of review if you're able to make a comment make a comment right away You know, you got to have quick responses. You got to make it easy to have returns Someone's bottle breaks or something in shipping then you know Don't ask a lot of questions. Just replace it fix it do that little extra touch to stand above the rest number three social media you got to have social media you, you got to have an Instagram account Facebook account a website you got to do these things so people can can find you uh, some people use Instagram some people don't some people use Twitter some people don't so you got to cover all your aspects some of the great companies that are out there now have excellent uh, uh, like like Facebook groups about their products where they can talk about their products they can talk about their beards or mustaches and uh, and and so it, it kind of creates a, uh, a brotherhood. You know, a couple of uh, companies that have that is uh, like Boss Man Brands has the Boss Man Brand Brotherhood. Uh, it's pretty active. You got Grave Before Shave. They have a really active uh, uh, social media, uh, Facebook chat and things like that. Everybody gets together and comments and uh, pretty chill. So you, you, you got to be able to bring people together. Use social media to bring your fans together and talk about your product. Number four, branding. Branding is, is simple. You know, you gotta make sure that people can recognize your product right away. When they see that that uh, that old hillbilly looking guy with a beard and a hat, and you know, you automatically think uh, honest Amish, you know? Uh, it, it's all about branding, you know? Get your branding out there. You know, if you got all the social media, you know, you're gonna have your logo and brand out there. Make it easy to read, not not a lot of squiggly script and stuff like that. Make it plain, not not plain, but you know, simple, easy to read. Make it recognizable. You know, you want to create that um, that that loyalty, that brand loyalty. So people will will see the logo and say, "Oh yeah, that's a that's a Boss Man brand, or that's a Great Before Shave product." And part of a little bit of customer service, a little bit of branding. Send out swag with your products, you know. 
uh, put stickers in the envelope. You know, people like stickers. People love patches, you know. I know patches are kind of expensive to make, but maybe offer some patches or something for sale or uh, have giveaways or something like that. I recently uh, received a package from Firehouse Mustache Wax, and they sent me all kinds of swag. I got little flashlights with, with their logo on it. I got a little back scratcher with their logo on it, you know. It just, just those little touches uh, make these companies stand out. I hope these tips have been helpful in, uh, in, in your beard care product. Um, you know, we use it, you know, I use, I use beard products all the time, mustache waxes, beard oils and balms and conditioners. And I know I'm not the only one. So, uh, we like using it. We like to try new products. Um, but, uh, you know, if you want to have a successful, company you, you got to think about those four things branding social media great customer service you got to have a great product that works if it just smells good but doesn't if it leaves it dry afterwards it's not good man listen to your fans so i hope these hope these tips will uh, help you in your entrepreneurial endeavors and uh, i look forward to seeing your products mm -hmm.